Hello, and welcome to Dragon Ball Month. This isn't a great start. What 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 are you doing? Darnan was taking a nap. He was on the floor. It's Dragon Ball Month. I'm really excited to be doing this. We're going to be doing a parallel quest for every single character that's in Dragon Ball Fighters, and in groups of three. And then we're going to be heading over to Dragon Ball Fighters uh, the following day in order to uh, do a tournament with them. And I think it's going to be a jolly old time. I've picked out a specific parallel quest for each um, each character from Fighters to kind of match their significance in the story of Dragon Ball. And today we're starting off with our boy Nappa. Nappa plus Cyberman. That's, our, that's my favorite. That hasn't been an issue in a while. Anyways, I look at my list. Uh, we'll be doing parallel quest 4. Prepare for the attack of the Saiyans with Nappa and Cybermen. Um, when conditions are to defeat Gohan and Piccolo, it's a very look. So we're very over leveled. In fact, if we take a look, we take a look at uh, Darnan. He's level 89, and that's going to reflect in the characters we choose other than Darnan. So if we do that, we're we're going to get through these early ones real fast. Some of the later ones we may not beat at all, uh, particularly the finished conditions, but with, you can see I have Z ranks, I, ha I know the clear conditions. We're going to be doing all these clear conditions, this one's clear in under 5 minutes. Uh, Reddit said that two even stronger Saiyans will arrive in a year, it's time to train. Instead of thinking of this as training, we're going to think of it as, we it's a year, we're going to beat y'all up. So, our goal is to beat Gohan and Piccolo, but if we do it in under 5 minutes, we beat all 5 of these boys in under 5 minutes, we have to fight Goku, and Piccolo's going to come back. So. Now, we don't always know those conditions. We haven't done it before and beat it before. So, it's going to be fun. So, I want to use Nap has three battle suits, a scouter, a not scouter, and no shirt. The closest thing to how he is in fighters is battle suit two. Oh, that's not. I hit random. My bad, I meant to hit skill. Um, he hits that. He gets, he gets an extra, um, an extra ultimate here. Each costume has different outfits for most or different <laughs> different attacks for most characters, and we're gonna give him two Cybermen because he's big on having Cybermen. We could do this alone, but there's a reason I don't want to. This is a very important mission. This is a very important parallel quest that anybody who's played extensive amounts of Xenoverse Two knows what's up. They know what's up with this mission, and we'll be getting into it after we take down Krillin and Yamcha, and Tien, some of whom we'll be seeing very soon. Uh, not, not Tien, if, that, if that's any indication. But you read the title of the video, so you know what's up. These guys are going down very fast, beating it in five minutes because of how, wow, <laughs> Cyberman took down Yamcha for me, it's almost like it's accurate to the show. Anyways, let's full power charge while the game takes time to register what just happened. They open up the portal to go fight Gohan and Piccolo. That's how close we are in only half a minute. But people who played Xenoverse 2 know that here, over here, some time patrollers have shown up. Oh, <laughs> someone's very aggressive. Time patrollers showed up, and if we beat them, we have a chance of getting a Dragon Ball. The, uh, so time three, a group of three time patrollers can show up in many missions. Sometimes they show up in the ultimate finish conditions, uh, which is when you do the special thing like clear in five minutes. Um, this is the easiest one because it's the earliest one where they can show up. Uh, they can be of any strength, though. Well, relative to your level. So they could be super weak or have two full health bars. And to, in order to still beat this in five minutes, in addition to beating them... That's why I needed the Cybermen, who are also going to go down easy, but I trust them to take care of each other. Uh, it shouldn't be too hard, even still, because of how little time it took... Uh-oh, that's bad. Because of how little time it took to fight Pro and Yangcha and Tien, I trust... I don't trust the Cybermen to take care of any of these time patrollers, but I trust we can still do it in five minutes. So, we're going to be seeing a lot of Xenoverse 2. <laughs> <laughs> uh, most of these videos, especially later on, are going to be much longer. As I said, if we can do this in under five minutes, uh-oh, both Cybermen dying at the same time is a bad sign. That means I have to save one of them so they can save each other, and everyone's going to be targeted onto me. This won't be the first time this will happen in this in this journey. 
So let's fight Edmund again. Oh boy. In case you've already noticed, my stamina has broken. Stamina is a big issue in this game, and it's very, it, not an issue, it's very important, and I'm horrible at managing it. So, we'll see how this goes. Um, I like that we're all under, uh, oh, this is an attack he has from, uh, there you go. Mater one, if, it says, if it says material item, you know you didn't get a Dragon Ball, it'll say key item if you got a Dragon Ball. Material items are usually Hercule badges, which sell for money, and that's it. Anyways, Brianna's close to dead. Look, we're going to be able to take care of, um, I'm not worried, even though, honestly, Scythemen are not doing as well as they usually do in practice. Um, man. I'm not worried, even though we only have two minutes left to meet the requirement, because Piccolo and Gohan go down real fast. They go down real fast. Um, it'd be smarter to take out Brianna first, so we're going to do that. Man. Yeah. Yeah? Okay, we'll, we'll just use our, our level 1 from fighters. Take you down, material item. So it's never guaranteed you're going to get a uh, Dragon Ball, but this is the best place to grind them. If you beat all three of them and notice you don't get key item, you can just pause and retry, but we're not going to do that. We're going to beat them, and then we're going to go beat the condition. Because <laughs> you do have to beat... Well, you don't have to beat the, the ultimate finish condition. In fact, it can go faster if you didn't even... Um, depending on how quickly you beat these time patrollers. Um, it's kind of hard to do, though. To not get it at this, at the level we're at, 89. Goodness. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh, I'm not worried. I'm not going to heal, either. <laughs> like, this is an early mission. We are low on time, though. So, material item. Okay, so no Dragon Ball. But instead of retrying, the point of this is to show off these missions. So, let's go. We have very little health, but I'm not worried because, as you can see, 30 seconds is nothing. 30 seconds is absolutely nothing. We can easily do this in 30 seconds. This is nothing. Nothing. Nappa's got this. In fact, we're going to beat up Gohan for the most part before Piccolo even shows up. I love the custom dialogue in this game that happens. See? Gohan's very dead, and we have 20 seconds, so you can beat Piccolo, as long as he doesn't stall. We're cutting it very close, much closer than I thought we'd be cutting it. Um, time Patrollers did a lot. Okay, that's bad, that's, and he's dead, we did it, okay, wow, I'm, I don't think I've ever cut it that close before, that's an exaggeration. We're not going to heal. So Goku shows up. Uh, usually the ultimate finish fighters that pop back up are slightly stronger than the main ones. Um, not a big deal. Here's something you'll find out, it, uh, because it'll happen to us a lot later. You can, uh, wow, the Cyberman took out Piccolo. You can break, when people are attempting ultimate attacks, you can break their stamina or just guard against it. I wasn't doing a very good job of that. Um... I was not doing a very good job of that against those time patrollers. We won't be seeing a whole lot of time patrollers later on, so it's good. I, I gotta be on that. I should have gotten a Z, but it's because I took so much damage to the time patrollers. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, we got all those Hercule badges. I should probably trade them in for money. But that's that's the mission we're doing with Nappa. And because there are teams of three and fighters, we'd have to have a team of three to do the tournament. Uh, we're gonna do yet another one. And I think... Let's, let's do one with our boy Yamcha, who <laughs> really got bodied by those Cybermen. I feel like he got done dirty, so we're going to be going to 6, Cybermen's Revenge. Countless Cybermen are appearing from nowhere and causing havoc. Defend Earth from the Cybermen. So, we defeat all these Cybermen if we clear it in under 5 minutes, again. A lot of these are time-based. I, I appreciate the ones that aren't, but a lot of the cases when there aren't, it's because we have an ally, and it's like, don't let the ally drop below 50%, or don't let the ally die at all. Um, but sometimes it's like, defeat people in a specific order. But if we do that, we uh, Nappa will show up, and some more Cybermen. And we're going to do it with Yamcha. And even though we could try to replicate the show and have, like, Crow and NTN by our sides, uh, we're just going to do it with Yamcha. And so, the interesting the interesting thing about Fighters Yamcha, it's it's kind of... I think it's supposed to be based in Super, 
because his hair isn't quite this long, but it's still kind of long. Kind of like, um, yeah, around Super, he kind of has that. It's definitely not short. Like, this is Cell Saga, Yamcha. Um, I really don't know what the difference would be here. I don't know. We're going to go with the first one. That's supposed to be basically around the start of Z Saiyan Saga. When he fought Cyberman and nobody else. Yamcha always gets too much hate, in my opinion. I like Yamcha a lot. I've said this in videos before, but you know what? Yamcha was cool in Dragon Ball. Although, looking back, he, he still failed a lot then. So, we're going to fight these Cybermen very fast. Alone. Because we can do it alone, because it's a very early mission. Again, later on, we will not be able to be alone. I'll still try to challenge myself sometimes. Um... Our goal is to fight all these kind of Cybermen. There's there there's all sorts of them, none of which are canon, except for Cybermen themselves. I really would like to know the origin. I'm not sure if the names came from Xen Xenoverse One, um, because there's all sorts of names for these Cybermen. Depending on what color they are. But uh. I don't know. I don't know where they came from. I know there's been colored Cybermen since, like, what, Dragon Ball Z Sagas? Probably before then, even in the Budokai games, uh, when every character had at least one palette swap. Yeah. They go down in, like, three hits, because it's such an early mission. Such an early mission. Like, I've been practicing these parallel quests that I'm going to be doing for all of Dragon Ball Month, and, like, the most recent one I've done is very late. Very late in the game. This is child's play in comparison. Um, I was about to say, does it just want us to go back, or... I like having a character that has a, a, a charge, a full power charge, an energy charge, even just an energy charge. Um, a maximum charge is optimal. Uh, oh, okay, take four hits, why don't you? I'm fighting regular Sadman this time. This is appropriate. Okay, that's probably why they're more powerful. Cybermen are so weird, dude. We're going to find ourselves a lot uh, either playing as characters we just beat up or fighting characters we just play as. We just played as, like, when we do missions in a row like this. Anyways, back to the mountains. Let's go into other portal that showed up when we killed the other Kaiware man. I don't know. I never really understood where the names come from. Although, the only one I kind of get is Copy Man. I've always interpreted Copy Man. It's kind of the dark one. We might be seeing it soon. As like the an android kinda, which again not canon, but like it seems because it's like dark, kind of metallicish, and it had, doesn't have like a weird like foreign alien name. It's just Copy Man, right? Here's the Copy Man. See, I always thought they were robots, you know. Although they kind of remind me of the, uh, God, what are they called? Cyber Cyber Warriors? Cyber Warriors from a uh, World's Strongest? I'll, t I'll tell you this. I have very little retained memory of the early, early Dragon Ball movies. I've probably seen them all once. And the only way I remember what happens in them is when when Team Four Star bridges them. But then I remind myself. But I, I, I really need to do a Dragon Ball movie binge. Um, especially with how good Broly was. Uh, I was about to say, dude. It's hard to know if they expect me to go back or not. Especially in these early ones when we finish it so fast, so much faster than the game expects me to. Tenon Man. I used to be so insistent that um, the sing as a kid, first getting into Dragon Ball, that the singular form of Cyberman uh, was M E N at the end, even though that doesn't make sense. And then games like the Universe come along, and it's like, no, it's Cyberman. Multiple Cybermen are Cybermen. And it's like, okay, that makes sense, but like, I feel like there was a lot of material that just, like, early games, maybe, I could be wrong, that just showed Cybermen as, like, because I don't think it's ever called a Cyberman in, in the, uh, in the anime. See, sometimes, so time patrollers don't show up on every, I should probably hurry up, don't show up on every map on every parallel quest, but they can show up on almost every stage, in, in some place, and I never remember which ones they do and which ones they don't. So we have three more to beat, I like that it keeps track. We can fight the Jinko men, which are just gray side men, but hey, they have an alien foreign name, so they're not robots. 
Yeah, I just thought there was a ton of, like, maybe early video games that, like, listed one Cybermen as Cybermen. Because, you know, that's what that's what they were called in the show. They're never referred to as man. But, like, it's fine. They really do take on an identity of their own, though. In the video games. Because they're there for such a small part of the show. Because, like... What, Tien fights one before Yamcha even gets a chance to? And then Vegeta blows it up. Then the one kills... Okay, so we did the thing. So now we're going to fight Nappa, which never happens with Yamcha. But there is that, uh... There is the, uh, the two... <sighs> we're pretty much fighting who we just played as. There's the two, uh... Dramatic finishes in... Let's, yes, let's fight the Cyphermen first. Why not? There's the two dramatic finishes in Fighters... That, like, one reenacts Nappa sending a Cyberman after Yamcha in his death from the Saiyan Saga. And then, um... And then there's the one where he gets his revenge on Nappa when it's the reverse. This stage, too, so it's great. Uh, let's actually show off some of his attacks. I don't like full power energy wave volley. A ton of characters have that in energy wave. Like, Nappa had energy wave, too. We didn't show off many of his attacks. He has, like, a fake death attack. Kind of sucks. Yamcha gets done dirty, even by the game makers. But it's Z rank. We did it. So, we'll be moving on to our final parallel quest of the episode. And, um, relatively quickly, I might add. And we'll be going on to our boy, our other boy trained by Master Roshi, Krillin. So, I had some debate with Krillin. We're going to be doing parallel quest. 7, Attack of the Saiyans. Raditz, Nappa, and Vegeta attack Earth at the same time. Take back West City from the evil Saiyans. Um, we gotta beat all of them. And if we beat all the Cybermen, because there's gonna be Cybermen there, it doesn't say we have to beat the Cybermen, but there will be Cybermen, as you can see, in the enemies list. Uh, the Saiyans are all gonna come back. <laughs> so I had some debate on what parallel quest I should do with Krillin, because his interpretation from fighters... It, it seems to it seems to be how he is in Super, like in the Resurrection F Saga, the Golden Frieza Saga. The issue is, in Xenoverse 2, Turtle Hermit G4 is his costume that's closest to how he is in Super. And I guess he has Super Destructo Disc, but he doesn't have Spread Shot, which he does have in Fighters. And he does use against some of Frieza's men, and that's the closest thing to what he has in Turtle Hermit Gi one, because like two, he has the it's like battle damage from like late the battle with Vegeta, and battle suit from Namek, and this has this is closer to like Android Android arc when he has the um, weighted clothing. Which I don't know why. I think Toriyama just liked how the weighted clothing looked on everyone, so he started giving them to people. Um, because this has scatter Kamehameha, and it still has like Kamehameha and destructive disc. Because like even this doesn't have Kamehameha. What the crap? Um, I want to use it. And we're gonna be alone. Again, we don't have to, because, like, as I was saying, uh, Krillin kills the rest of the Cybermen after Yamcha dies, and then, uh, Piccolo kills one that tries to attack Gohan. We could have Gohan and Piccolo. Or even, uh, even your boy, uh, Tien. That's not... We don't have to. So. Gosh, seeing Raditz next to a Cyberman, uh, makes me think of, um, that one What If saga from... Budokai Tenkai G2, where he brings out a Cyberman, but then it blows up prematurely, and he gets, like, amnesia and becomes, like, a good guy. I always thought the ending of that one was kind of bittersweet, but, uh... Oh, he doesn't have a charge. That's great. I love wasting my key on Rise to Action. But, yeah, so there's gonna be Cybermen alongside, um, all these Saiyan boys. Let's go stop them from blowing up. Hey, they didn't blow up West, West City normally. What city do the Saiyans blow up? I think it's one of the t one of the like main cities, like East City, maybe. You never hear about East City, do you? So drifting isn't a big problem in this game. I talk about drifting a lot when I play Nintendo Switch games because it's a big problem on my Nintendo Switch specifically. It's not a big problem in this one uh, because you're constantly moving with the um, with the left stick. But like, if you ever see me switch my targets when there's multiple targets, like very rapidly, that's not me. Sometimes I just wig wiggle the right stick around to make sure it's not. Honestly, the left stick gives me a lot more trouble than the right stick ever does. So let's use the scatter coming out, dude. 
and it missed. Destructo disc. It also missed. We broke a house though. It caused more damage than the Saiyans did. Uh, I'm not really sure if the Cybermen disappear. Rise to action. Did the Cybermen disappear? Now that's interesting. It's interesting that this is still green. That usually indicates there's something there. Like a character to talk to. Or like, um, or time patrollers. I'm only going back to make sure. So I'm pretty sure I killed all the Cybermen. Because, like, the portal wouldn't have appeared if I didn't. Yeah, there's time patrollers. We're not going to fight the time patrollers again. I just wanted to show that off in the, in the mission we did with Nappa. Because that's the one that most people, or at least the one that I personally grind Dragon Balls um, with when I need the Dragon Balls. Speaking of, our boy Yamcha, who's dead. Hey, Yamcha. Some characters will give you their key, um, which doesn't really give you key, it just gives you, uh, fills up your health. Um, and maybe your stamina, I don't know. I wasn't really out of stamina. I wasn't paying attention. Um, sometimes they're there. And then a lot of these missions will be ignoring, let's not be Vegeta prematurely. And a lot of these missions will be ignoring characters who are just on the sidelines and they're not directly involved in the battle. I, I tried to avoid missions where uh, the character I'm playing as fights themselves. If they have to be allied with themselves, just because there wasn't a better mission to do, um, that's okay. I just kind of dealt with it. I'll write it off as like the the multi-form technique or something like that, you know? Because um, a lot of characters can do the multi-form technique. Tien, Cell, um, Piccolo and Krillin do it. Uh, fight when fighting Nappa at some point. Um, it's cool. But other characters, sometimes I just do it when, like, I need multiple characters, but, like, nobody works in the canon, you know? Like, we'll be seeing cases of that. I don't want to spoil my intentions for certain characters, you know? It'll all make sense in due time. Anyways, we killed all the sidemen, so we're going to see a warning who's going to come back. <gasps> It's your boys, Nappa and Raditz. Let's fight them. Let's fight them off again. Let's fight Nappa first. Why not? Let's try to land the scatter coming, huh? Nice. It's interesting that um, this game refers to uh, it as a Kamehameha. Like no, like it's what's what's it normally called? Scatter shot or just? It's not called spread shot retreat. That's his uh, that. Oh, okay. Unintentional. And it shows up and kills Vegeta. Awesome. You know, it's funny. Krillin indirectly fights all these people, and that's why I chose this one. Because I almost gave, again, I almost gave him one from the Resurrection F Saga way later. But I didn't think it was necessary. We didn't land a Destructor Disc, but boy, did we land a Kamehameha. That was a great Kamehameha. Because he gets smacked through Kamehameha by Raditz. That's not really a fight, but, like, it happens. This has been fun. This is going to be probably the shortest of the, of the Xenoverse 2 levels, unless we spend less time with introduction. Le levels, what am I talking about? Episodes. Unless we spend less time on introduction, um, and more time just getting straight to the straight to the parallel quest. But uh, this has been fun, and I'm really excited to do it. Tomorrow, tomorrow, we will be moving into Dragon Ball Fighters to do a tournament with Nappa, Yamcha, and Krillin, and all the, all the Dragon Ball Fighters episodes are going to be the same length, because it's just going to be one tournament. I suppose some tournaments will go by faster than others, depends on my luck with fighting people. Hopefully I don't lose any of the tournaments, that's, it's foreboding that I even dared to say that, but, yes, these, the Xenoverse 2 episodes will be varying in length, but, boy, those Fighters videos will be, will be more standardized. So, I'll see you in the next Xenoverse 2 video, but before that, in Dragon Ball Fighters, it's Dragon Ball Month, we're getting ready for Dragon Ball Z Kakarot to come out, that I won't be able to play upon launch, because it's not on Switch, but I cannot wait, it's gonna be a fun month, uh, slightly less than a month, but it's, uh, I have other content, so it's gonna, it's probably gonna go for around a month, so, I'll see you then, later.